from here. Great job. And here's what I promised you. Carefully.
Come back and see me if you dare. Out. put together my own little time trial race. You want to give it a go? Nothing too challenging. It's just a little course that I race on. Tell you what, beat my time, friend, and I'll give you a nice little boost upgrade for your buggy. You want to give it a shot? Good luck. You are, as we say, a natural behind the wheel. And wait till you feel the boost kick in on that old buggy. Remember, if you need your vehicles repaired, just pull them into the bay and I'll see what I can do. Great work. You know, you being here has made this area a lot safer for me and my family. We are in your debt. So now that we can travel safely, it looks like our time together may be coming to an end. I'd like to keep you here. A guy like you is valuable in a place like this. But you're just gonna attract too much attention, and that'll bring in the authority. But. There is one more thing I need you to do. Mayor Clayton runs the town of Wellspring to the east. And I've got to get a message to him. And you, you're the only one that can do it. Our supplies are getting low and the mayor's promised help. We need to get restocked before the bandits cut us off again. Can you make the trip? I knew I could count on you. Remember, you ain't got any guns on that buggy of yours. You run across any bandits, you get away as quickly as possible and get to town. It'll be safer there.
Hold up there, stranger. You got business here? You need to see Mayor Clayton. Wait a sec. I'll tell him you're here. Don't you move. Hello, sir. Got a man here to see you. Looks like Dan sent him. Interesting. Send him to me right away. The mayor can see you now, but hold on. We got a few rules here in Wellspring. You see, people don't exactly take to strangers here. Just you keep your head down and mouth shut, and you'll do just fine. Folks here are mighty suspicious. They aren't gonna just trust you, at first. My advice? Best keep to yourself. Okay? To get to the mayor's office, just cross the courtyard once you're in town. Can't miss it. <laughs> Да ладно, Сара. Знаю хоть что-нибудь, что угодно о поджигателях. Я бы уже рассказал. Клайв, ты только делаешь все еще хуже. Просто скажи, что они затевают. Я, я реально не понимаю, зачем нужно это продолжать. То есть, ну в самом деле, если бы я знал, ты правда думаешь, я бы стал так рисковать? Сколько напитков можно приготовить одной рукой? Или ногой? Или еще хуже? Да ладно тебе, Сара. Не выпей насчет за мой Клайва. счет. Поговорим, да, хватит, пожалуйста. Я не смог этого выдержать. Теперь ему приходится скрываться от своей старой банды. Не суть, похоже, тебе пришлось не сладко. Что выяснилось на нефтезаводе? Огненный бурятый летающий штурмовик, и, и для него нужно топливо? Если они смогут поднять его в воздух, все окажутся в опасности, не только источник. Время вышло, Клайв! Стой, стой, слушай, я могу навести тебя на их базу! И с чего бы мне тебе верить? Насколько я знаю, поджигатели, они убьют всех, включая меня. И как мне тогда прикрыть их лавочку? О, нет, если они выяснят, что я тебе помог, тогда во всем источнике меня ничто не сможет защитить. По сравнению с ними, ты просто хулиган. Секси-хулиган. Хорошо. Что для этого нужно? Просто вытащи меня из пустошей. Как можно дальше от поджигателей. Да не может этого быть. Нужен корабль, чтобы тебя туда доставить. Слушай, я все равно по уши в дерьме. Попробуй меня вытащить или разберись с огненной бурей сама. Поговори с Джей Кей Стайлсом о его последнем предложении. Я слышал, Оазис прекрасен в это время года. У нас не слишком большой выбор. Для этого нам нужна помощь Клайва. Я здесь за ним присмотрю, а ты получи этот билет у Стайлса. Если возникнут проблемы, поговори с организатором гонок в городе. Welcome to Wellspring, stranger. Best little town this side of what passes for civilization and a few good safe miles from any authority outposts. Nicest people you'll ever find live right here. Friendly folk. Not your wasteland bandit scum. Good honest people. Well, enough with all that. So I hear you have a message from our friend Dan. Let's have it then. Having some trouble with bandits in the settlement again. Dangerous life out there. Deadly even. Well, I can get all this stuff he needs. Gonna take some time though. Not sure how long. He must really respect you to give you this important job. So for now, I'll trust you too. You could stay here in Wellspring while I'll get his supplies, but not dressed like that. You'll bring the authority sniffing around, and I sure don't need that. So, you'll need to lose the Ark suit for something a bit more... modern. <laughs> Go see the vendor in town. 
Get some new- Good! Glad we understand each other. When you come back, we can have another little chat. Sure I saw them. Mutants. Ten, twenty of them. Will you look at how you're dressed? I haven't seen anyone wearing an arc suit for a long time. Dangerous thing you're doing there. Be careful. Authority spots you and you'll be hauled away in a flash. You best keep as low a profile as you can around here. Don't let people know you're from the past. Rewards are large for turning one of you in. But lucky for you, I hate the authority more than I need money. <laughs> a man from the past walks through my door, goes to show you that no one needs nothing around here. But let's first talk about that suit you're wearing. I can take it off your hands for a fair trade and get you something uh, a little less, well, noticeable. Each of the suits possesses unique characteristics. It's up to you to decide what works best for you. Ah, the Wastelander. Very good indeed. Remember, I buy and sell all manner of goods here. I have all the best supplies. doing business with you. We don't care much for outsiders. We've always got space for new races! Attention, people of Wellspring. During our last town hall meeting, it was decided that we would continue our much needed expansion. This expansion is really important. Some of you, unfortunately, will be asked to make That's much better. Now you look like any other good, hard working citizen. But we got another problem. You see, you can't just leave your vehicles parked outside my town. We're civilized here. We have rules. And since it looks like you're gonna be here a while, you're gonna need a place to park your stuff. Go see Mick across the way in the garage. He can help you. Got that? After you talk to Mick, go see Sheriff Black. He should have Dan's supplies all set by then. <laughs> You're gonna like our sheriff. <laughs> 